Hello, yat eshe avena holiday in she, my desh kizi nishle, de petugine bashishi ki ani deshinche do petatni deshinella. I just introduced myself in Navajo with my four clans. I am Ivana Holiday. I am the community wellness liaison at Salt Lake City Public Library. And today I will be teaching you how to make blue corn mush, a Navajo traditional dish. But before we start, I would first like to give you cultural information. Corn is used in many Navajo traditional dishes, such as kneel down bread, blue corn mush, dried steamed corn, and roasted corn. Corn is also used for ceremonial purposes, which include the puberty ceremony for a young Navajo girl and sacred offerings to the holy people. During the puberty ceremony for a young Navajo girl, a large corn cake is cooked underground lined with corn husk. There are also specific songs that relate to preparing, growing, and using corn. It's important to understand and respect the cultural aspects of corn when learning how to make blue corn mush. Next, I will talk about the ingredients needed to make blue corn mush. Our first ingredient is roasted blue corn meal. My family and I purchased this from a vendor at our local flea market. Our next ingredient is juniper ash. Juniper ash is collected from burnt juniper branches and is a great source of calcium. One gram of juniper ash contains about the same amount of calcium as one glass of milk. We are now ready to begin the recipe. These are the utensils needed to make blue corn mush. We have a stirring spoon, a smaller spoon, a whisk, one cup measurement, half a cup measurement, one teaspoon measurement, a small bowl. We have our juniper ash right here and our roasted blue corn. You would also need water for this. But now we can begin the recipe. First, we boil two cups of water in a pot. While the water starts to boil, we will combine one cup of roasted blue cornmeal in our bowl. And we will add one and a half cup of water. And we will use the whisk to mix this up. And we want to combine it until there are no lumps. We would want to mix this to ensure that there are no clumps of the blue roasted cornmeal. Once the water starts to boil, you can add your one teaspoon of juniper ash. Once you add the juniper ash into the pot, it will look like this. After you add the juniper ash, we will add the blue cornmeal mixture into the pot. Also stir it while you're pouring it in to ensure that there are no lumps. Stir this until everything is combined together in the pot. Next, we will turn down the heat to medium low. And we will continue to stir this for two minutes. After you have finished stirring it for two minutes, let it boil for another five to 10 minutes while stirring it occasionally. This is how the mixture looks after seven minutes of boiling. As you can see, it has become very thick. And that's what we like to see, to know that it is almost done. 
This is the mixture at nine minutes, and this is how we know it, it is done with the thick consistency. You can begin serving your blue corn mush. You can top it with fruits or granola. Thank you for watching this video. I enjoyed making it. Ahyehe. <laughs>